Hey guys, it's Chip here. And this is gonna be, or should be, my final Modern Warfare 3 video. And for the final video, instead of giving you guys another typical gameplay, I'm gonna talk about the final rev I guess a review, Modern Warfare 3, the final verdict. Um, uh, I know a lot of us hate the game for obvious reasons, but let's look at the- I don't know what gameplay I'm going to use for this, so, um, I'm just freeballing this, because Venom is trying to steal my idea after I mentioned it on, a on our Xbox party chat, so I'm going to try to beat him to it. Uh, he's going to get more views on his anyway than me, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, um, okay, first, okay, campaign. I, I'm pretty sure a lot of you don't play the campaign, but I did. Pass it on veteran because I'm come because I'm a boss. And personal, I I enjoyed the campaign. I enjoy all Call of Duty campaigns. They're really intense. They're like the final the final missions are always really intense. So like I think for this one, the whole thing with the juggernaut, you got to get in there and do all that shit. And yeah, I mean. <laughs> This is not going to be an in-depth, you know, I'm not going to go through the details of the campaign because I forgot. I finished the campaign the first week it came out. So, campaign, awesome. Now let's get on the... The the one that everyone cares about is the multiplayer. Oh, oh, multiplayer. How many times you screwed me over. Let's see, what's the main problem? Okay, first of all, okay, sit rep, sit rep pro, louder footsteps, dead silence. Seven footsteps reduces the uh, effect on recon and no fall damage. It was the perfect balance. If you don't want people sound whoring you, you put on dead silence. Simple as that. But why did they do it so that sit rep could hear dead silence people? It it just doesn't make any sense. Um, but I'm eating airhead right now. So unprofessional. But that's not that big of a complaint. Only in search and destroy does it really matter. I think. Or 1v1s or the face-off thingies. Oh, I'm not gonna say been... Sorry, I'm gonna say beating this candy. I didn't think it was gonna be this loud. Um, what else? Okay, unbalanced weapons, okay. Inconsistent weapons. No, no, let's talk about inconsistent inconsistency. Shotguns? Personally, I get a lot of hit markers, so I was like, oh, well, they want to just slap on damage. All right, you know, slap on damage up close, like two inches away. Shotgun with damage. I get a hit marker, <laughs> and I get knifed. People running a spaz with range, they fucking get a long shot on me, one shot. Well, what the fuck, you know? I run around the Type 95, sometimes it takes two, two three bursts to sh kill someone, or three... But then when someone comes at me, blam, one burst. M16, one burst, too. They, I think they nerfed it to make it... Well, not nerfed. I don't know if that's the proper term, whatever. They buffed it so that it um, is the same as a Type 95. Akimbo FMG9s. Oh, God. Akimbo FMG9s. Everyone knows. Everyone hates those. They're so... Aw <laughs> they're cheap, but they're awesome. You can mow down the entire team just... Steady aim, sleight of hand. And up, one clip is enough to take them a juggernaut too. With those things, that's how overpowered they are. Um, what else? What else can we talk about? Um, assassin, assassin, assassin is really annoying. Okay, it's fine. Yeah, hides you from UAV. All right, no red crosshair when aimed at. Okay, I can deal with that. Um. Don't show up on the portable UAV. Oh, okay, you know, sure, okay. But I love that ghost on um, Black Ops. Even if you had, okay, a UAV didn't work. If you had ghost on, you couldn't be seen on the UAV, right? But someone calling the Blackbird, you could be seen. I think if you call an advanced UAV, you should be seen even if you have Assassin. That's what I think. I don't know if you guys agree with that, but... Yeah, blind eye, blind eye doesn't really bother me, even though I do sometimes bitch out blind eye assassin, <laughs> cause it's like they're making them blind eye assassin, silencer, sit rep. It's like they're trying to, it's like they do it on purpose to piss you off, right? That's what I think. Um, 
I just think if assassin, if you could be seen with a advanced UAV on assassin, I think that would have been good. People wouldn't bitch about assassin as much. So, you know, well, I'm just glad this is their final game. Apparently, excuse me. What else? So I covered sit rep. I covered inconsistent guns. Commando lunge. What the fuck? Okay, commando as a perk was a good idea, but then just have it built into the character himself. Fucking put three bullets on the guy, he just lunges at you from halfway across the map. <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous. The fucking lunge. Sometimes I even miss the lunge. It's like, uh, it's so annoying. <laughs> uh, well, I'm pointing out all the negative. I mean, with all these negatives, we still play the game, so obviously it has a high replay value. But the worst thing ever are death streaks. Why? Why? I think I'm put up. The I think I saved a tweet from Candy Lexi or something like that, where I asked her about Dead Man's Hand. She says keeping Dead Man's Hand is a design choice that they did. And they're talking about. Uh, I also I don't know. Someone was talking about a uh, death streak, and says to balance it out. Why should us good players pay the price for someone sucking at the game? You know, like you don't see Halo having um, oh you die five times in a row, you get overshield automatically. It it wouldn't it would suck, or you get an active camo right away or something like that. Um, well they did use uh, armor abilities, but that's that's besides the point. Um, I just okay. I personally think take away death streaks, Modern Warfare Three would have been great. Take away death streaks, tweak out a bit of the guns guns aren't really that big of a deal compared to death streaks Ju I don't <sighs> juiced isn't that bad but when you see well, <laughs> unless they're using a shotgun juice extreme conditioning and stalker you are gonna get fucked um revenge no one never uses revenge hollow points hollow points this is, I don't care about hollow points but the final stand and dead man sand that's what fucked it up the most I w dead man sand wouldn't be bad if the explosion wasn't so overpowered, like blast shield doesn't work with it. What else? I think okay, okay. If you shoot a guy that has dead man's hand, he should not be able to detonate and explode. The only way they should be able to explode is the A if they pull the trigger. Like the detonator. <sighs> I'm just pointing out all the negative things, huh? God damn. Well that's cause that's what people hate. So, I don't know, this is much of a review, huh? It's more about me bitching. Oh, Chaos Mode was a great idea. That was great. Spec Ops, someone cares about that, so I'm not going to talk about that. So, I guess final verdict is uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 has gone to poop in the final few months of the game. They should have just taken out Death Streaks and it would have been a great game. If I had to give it a rating at the campaign, I gave it like an 8 or a 9 out of 10. The multiplayer, because all the bullshit and the lack of attention they put on it, I'd give it probably a, s a 6, and that's being generous. If it didn't have any death streaks or unbalanced guns, I would probably give it a 9. I'm not going to complain a lot about perks. I don't Assassin... You're, not, you're never going to stop campers. Even if there's no such thing as assassin, people are still going to camp in corners. People are still going to find a way to be a bitch about the game. So, yeah. I mean, I, well, I guess it turned into a rant. I guess Final Verdict, Modern Warfare 3, you were great. But then you just went to shit with Death Streaks. Take away Death Streaks, you would have been great. Now Black Ops 2 is coming. And you're going to get torn apart by Black Ops 2. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed me bitching about the game. So, later!